Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the Wednesday of the Reboot. Uh, that's right, took a little time off. Uh, not that I wasn't, you know, still working and stuff, but uh, boom, got a ring on it. That's right. Uh, if you guys don't watch World Marriage Consortium, uh, we've talked about it like every week up until the day. So yeah, uh, married my lovely bride, Taylor. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys along for another one, another video. So we got some videos coming up. I have plenty of things for world making, uh, Amrak spot that I need to show y'all. I got stuff from Aegis Station, District 3, and Timbo Toys. And all that's going in the new area, part of new Amrak. I know we had level one and two, but like the main, the main stays me back there, where the arena currently is. And I also have the back cave to show you guys. So right there's four videos I have to do just for Amrak spot. But I got in a few cool things from my buddy Marvelous. Like I said, we're tippy toeing in to a little bit of Mezco. So we got we got two more videos coming up on some Mezco. There'll probably be separate videos because I want to take some time and shoot these things separately. But this video also has to do with Marvelous. He sent me over this DC Essentials. Well, actually, it was sent over Collector. Collector's doing a few customs on the zombie DC Essentials. I'll put them up on the screen. And uh, he's like, hey man, this is a lot of this is a lot of customized. I was like, dude, send me one. So send me one over. Marvelous said, do what you want to do. Do whatever you want to it. So I'm gonna turn this camera on. I'm gonna show you guys. I got some shots also, some toy photography to show you. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. So, but I'll turn this around and I'll explain it. And shout out to my cousin Ben. He uh, watched the Mezco Superman video. And he went ahead himself and got one for himself. So I appreciate him and his kid for watching. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to talk toys with him again. Uh, like I said, I, he was at the wedding. Thank you for the humidifier. I'm also good. I want to do a video on the groomsmen because I had some wonderful groomsmen who brought me some gifts and things. One brought money, so that's not really good for content. But uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, give them a special thanks because uh, it meant a lot to me that everybody came from everywhere they came from. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a short video, but without further ado, right here, I got him right here. I got him right here. I just, well, all right, so I was posing him like he was falling out of the sky with all the junk in it, but I don't wanna show you too much just yet. So, without further ado, here's Soup's Zombified. So, here he is in all his glory. Like I said, Marvelous said, just get wild with it. So, I was like, what would be a zombified? A more zombified version than what we got because the one that we got it was pretty cool but you can only do so much from the factory right and i just kind of have them in this on this pose on this wire little wire quick wire stand like i said nothing crazy um you guys can make those you can make those for yourself just go to home depot grab yourself some of this 20 or 22 gauge anywho ripped off the cape a little breakdown we ripped off the cape the little soft goods. I think I put, yeah, just the two wires. Yeah, just two wires in this one. Um, I did put some elastic down first. I just use it, I just run it so that I have something to attach the cape to. You don't have to do that. You also gotta glue it down a couple times because it doesn't always hold. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to make sure he looked crazy and I wanted to take an eye out. Like, you know, if he has those laser beam eyes, he's gonna have one probably that, you know, if he's a zombie, maybe it was a book. It just it just blows up on him. But the most important part to me, like I want, like Collector's doing some crazy stuff. And I know he's going to be showing off his work too. Collector 425. So make sure to be following because he's working on some customs also that are with this same line. All are going back to Marvelous. And uh, we just want to take our own artistic styles and just blow it out. So... With this one, I want to make sure we have some kryptonite. We have some kryptonite. These are just from the dollar store. These are some, some dollar store uh, green rocks that they had. I put a tiny bit of the translucent paint over them, but they're already green. Uh, I just went nuts on them with the Dremel. Had to, had to go crazy with the Dremel. Because these spots weren't there. They painted some on, not on this version. They had like two that they put out. One had the paint painted skin on them. This one did not. But if you look on like Amazon and stuff, if you were to buy one of these, I believe they're about 30 bucks right now. Around about $30. And I do know that in the pictures, they show you two different ones on Amazon. So um, 
yeah, we just want to make sure we had, you know, we had to have some skin coming through everywhere. Got this little bit on the arm there. Got some skin, got some kryptonite color coming through. Really cool. I want to do a shot. I didn't quite capture it, but if he were to be holding up his hand. All right. Also, DC Essentials, they don't have the best articulation in the world, but I thought it'd be cool if uh, you could see his eye when he's looking through his hand. I don't know if we'll be able to grab that right now. You guys get what I'm saying. I thought that'd be cool. Like someone shot a hole through his hand and maybe he's not regenerating as good because he's a zombie version of Superman. So that was like one of the shots that I definitely put only about five pictures up on the IG, guys. It wasn't that many. Sorry, I had to fix the lighting. It was driving me crazy. There's too many shadows, guys. I'm getting a new light. Don't worry. Um, And I also, I also want to uh, make sure that on the face... It was kind of peeling off and stuff. So we took chunks out of the face, as you can see. And I'll do a B-roll and we'll get a little bit closer on this guy. We want some stuff showed in, in him. No diddy, pause. And also uh, some bullet holes going through. So ruined some of this. Repainted him also head to toe. I didn't touch up any of the red, just the blue. I repainted completely because I wanted that darker color on him. Because he's a little bit of a lighter... I wouldn't say Honolulu blue, but he is a lighter blue when you get him. Which looks fine. I just wanted to take this thing and go nuts. But yeah, we did some uh, chunks missing everywhere. That was pretty much a scheme for me. Chunks missing everywhere. Kryptonite coming out. Wired cape. That's That was my plan. That was my goal. Grunge him up a little bit like he's been through it. Would Superman fly if he's a zombie? I don't know. I still feel like Superman being a zombie, it would still be pretty wild. Like he'd probably be... So pretty, I mean, he might have some brain activity. I don't know, zombie means your brain's your brain dead, right? So you're just a walker. But, uh, you know, you might think that since he's an alien, maybe, maybe he has a little bit of something left of Superman in him. Who knows? Really do want to thank Marvelous. Everything he's done for me, um, I, you know, anytime I get a chance to help him out and throw some paint on some stuff and make it look nasty, you know I'll do it. I'm down. Any type of crazy plan that he has, I'm in. I can't wait for you guys to see the ones that Collector's done. Uh, I'm actually delivering this in person because I will be at Legion Con with Grown Ass Men Toys coming in November. So just a couple weeks away. I'll be staying at the Fox Den and uh, my mind's going to be blown by how many hot toys you can fit into one case. But uh, I want to thank him again for trusting me with another figure. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to check me out on Friday with Rad Toys. Famine and Brian Outer Multiverse, and uh, that's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Rad Toys Galaxy. Pop, pop, pardon me. Let me tell you just how I started. See, uh -huh. ever since I was a youngin', this shit been part of me. Nah. It's hard to be an artist when no one acknowledge heat. So we created GAMT so that y'all can see. Sometimes you gotta start from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone around, only in for what you got. And they told me when you getting hella light skin, you hot. So I went and grabbed a couple heavy hitters so we pop. Oh, oh yeah, you got the three chiefs, but then you got the soldiers. Grown ass men toys, look boy, I thought I told you. Grown ass men play with grown ass toys. That's right. And grown ass haters play with grown ass boys. <laughs> look at our grown ass ass is making grown ass noise Woo! i learned when you're setting up a team you need your boys yeah, the yeah. section over here it's is for, for the men, men not the babies it ain't, it ain't. grown ass men toys talented creators photography that keep pushing the ecosystem we the system Woo! see we pushing the people because we the algorithm hanging with us you're getting likes after likes you do, you do. views after views huh? and huh? bites after bites what? We can even help you get them shots that you like. Yo, pick after pick, gonna be tight after tight. Oh man. So drop a shot, what you got? What you working on? Yeah. And we yeah. gonna all celebrate you till the work is gone. We outside like kids playing, but we grown men. Grown if man, you ain't with us, stay away, cause we the wrong nah, man. Nah. Oh man, we do giveaways, we show our whole hand. Can't forget about the live streams with them bro hands. Oh yeah, this shit bang. Oh yeah, that's a bang. Oh yeah, that's a bang.